All right, and with a 3 16 Allen, he's just going around and loosening all these at this point around this outside transmission cover. All right, and so he's getting his last one backed out there. And again, we've got the big pan underneath because we know this is gonna drip a bit. There's no real extremely clean way to do this. It is what it is. You're always gonna lose a little bit more that way. All right, so this is your clutch housing, of course, your outside housing. We've got that off once you have that off, guys. Um, when we put this back on, we're actually gonna replace this gasket so we can get rid of that. This would not, some gaskets you can reuse and stuff we say at times, but these ones I would definitely uh, replace this gasket. All right, so what you're looking at here, get yourself a pair of snap ring pliers. You see the two rings, this ring. Also notice, because it's gonna come into play as it's kind of thicker. You see the ring is thicker and then it tapers down as it gets towards the snap ring holes. Um, what you wanna do, I'm trying to do this so I can show you guys, so bear with me. All right, once I get my snap rings in there, Again, it helps to have a second set of hands here, but I'm trying to do this for you guys. Is I just kind of spin it around, and what I'm trying to do is spin it around like so, so that these kind of are over here like so. And this can be a pain if you've never done it before. I've done enough of these that I've kind of got a trick. So you can see now I've got these over here, and again, I noted the different thickness in it. That's very important. And so once I have it over here, you can kind of see I've freed this side a little bit. So what I'll do is pinch these in real good. And you can see I'm kind of spinning it at the same time. And this will go flying, so be careful. And you can see now once you get it started, it slides out. Now this is the same way. A lot of guys struggle with these because they try to put them back in like this. And they try to get the snap rings on here. And they try to put it straight back in. So the way you'll want to put it back in that will save you a lot of time and gray hairs and frustrations, we'll put it back in an angle like that and I'll show you when we do that and see how I just slid it right back up in there guys. You can almost do it without snap rings. Really the snap rings are to get the rings so they're over here in a position, an advantageous position. So that's out and then there's a couple ball bearings under here so be careful to, to do this right. You heard one fall out there, there's the second one. All right and so I don't want to drop these so I'm just getting them out for you guys. So there's one more ball bearing. You can see the ball bearings just go right back in this plate. They just sit there. So I've got the three ball bearings now in my hand. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you wanna make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level. Um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabitingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever wanna just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabitingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's a Law Abiding Biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. And then here is your, where your clutch cable goes in. You can see it goes into the housing here. We're gonna have to unscrew this in a sec. But this right here, I'm gonna spin it around so you guys can see it. You can see it's just kind of a, a half shape there and it's got kind of a, a partial uh, machine circle there it just fits in just like that so when you turn it then it's locked in it won't come out so you just kind of got to fiddle with it till that comes out we can save that plate there all right and then there you go this is your your clutch cable now we can take this housing off and we're going to get a wrench and kind of turn the housing off while we're holding this so with the 9 16 wrench this is the easiest way to do this guys is i'm just holding on to it and then i'm just turning the whole housing and it's threaded and i'm back in the cable off of the housing, of course. And now I've got that enough, I can just hold it. All right, there we go. And that comes out like so, housing out of the way. Now note here, there is a ring here. Um, you know, just be aware of these can, this one's just a little bunged up, but it should be fine. But you could get a leak point there, so you might want to, if you're doing this, get a new one of these washers or have them on hand. All right, so we got our new block cover. Um, of course, 
cable goes right in. Again, if you want to replace this O-ring, that's fine. Right into the housing. And then just make sure you don't cross thread this, guys. And I'm just gonna tighten this down. Okay, so this is the old housing. We do need this piece too where the ball bearing sits. So that just pops right out like so. We've got our new housing here. Of course, this little protruding piece. There's a nice spot for it right there in the housing for you. This, of course, very simple. Just goes on the cable like that. It's got a little cutout for it. Very simple. Don't forget we've got this piece right here. And I'm just flipping it over so you guys can see. It's actually going to go down because it's got the ball bearing cutouts, but for video purposes. So you can see right on like so. Now we can spin it around. I'm just actually going to set it out of my way for a second. Now I'm going to get my three ball bearings. Put them right in here. Once you get those in, of course this plate goes right over the top like so. So our ball bearings are all in there. We're good to go. Okay, so like I told you guys, there is a sweet spot. And uh, honestly, every time I do one of these, I have to find the sweet spot because it can be really frustrating. That's why we wanted to make this video for you. But the way is, so if you look at this right here, that little snap ring hole right there where my thumb is, if you try to do it out here and try to get it in, you're going to get frustrated. It, it just, it only bends a certain way. So the way to do that is light. See this first notch right here? I kind of aim for that and that gets it started. So if I have that there, and then of course there's a channel over here that I'm getting the ring in. And as long as I have that situated about there, and I can usually get it in just like that with my fingers. And again, the only reason we're using snap ring pliers is we want to actually now go ahead and pinch this together and rotate it up. All right, and there I turned it up to about there, and you should be good. This is all gonna hold just fine now, so good to go. We can get this housing and uh, back on here. Okay, so just cleaning this up now, because uh, we're gonna put a brand new gasket again. We wouldn't suggest trying to reuse this one. You might get some leakage. Of course, we want that held in place, so he's got a few pieces of electrical tape, no problem. And he's gonna put them up over the gasket and kind of up over the the ledge there, so to speak, and that will hold in place. And then after we get it on, you can it's nice because you can just grab that electrical tape and yank it right out of there and it won't cause a problem. But that way we know it's aligned properly. Now we can get the housing back up there. It's gonna start lining everything back up. And then just start finger starting a few of these bolts here. And again, just getting a couple bolts in there so this thing won't fall off now and then he can go around. All right, and just in case you forgot, guys, we're just reminding you there's two different sizes. Your two short ones bolts go along the top. They go into the two top holes, and then your longer ones go around the other four holes there. So don't get those mixed up. All right, so he's got all these started, just seated. We haven't tightened any of them down, really. And now you can see that you can just grab that electrical tape that was holding the gasket, and it just pulls right out. So little trick there. We know they're all lined up. Now we can get a wrench on these bolts. All right, so he's getting all these tight. If you want to get torque specifications, go for it. We're comfortable with it. He's going to get them tight in about another quarter turn. You're seeing he's going around. He's not, um, you wouldn't want to just go counterclockwise or clockwise. He's actually going like in a star pattern, top, then bottom, then side. Kind of do them in a sporadic order so that you get even pressure sinking that plate down. And again, don't over tighten these. You will strip them out, guys. And uh, like we say, tighten about another quarter turn or get your torque specifications. But there you go. All right, just a 3 8 Allen. He's taking off his transmission dipstick and fill hole cap there. All right, and we're just going to fill the transmission back up. And we're just using uh, AMS oil 2050. We put synthetic in all three holes, engine, primary, and transmission. That's how we roll around here. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.